Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with a very special and very important Halo 4 gameplay tips and tricks video. This time around I'm going to be giving you some intel on the support upgrades. I've had a lot of questions about the support upgrades and tactical packages. Uh, a lot of people don't know how, how, how to use them or what they are. They're brand new to the Halo series so they take a little bit of getting used to and you need to know how to use them and how to use them well. Uh, if you don't know what they are or how to use them or heaven forbid have not set them up then you know you're going to find yourself losing a lot of games and really being at a disadvantage uh, because your your opponents are definitely doing this that they they understand these upgrades and these packages they've set them up they're using them they're they're switching them out depending on the situation and if you're not doing the same you're going to lose and uh, we don't want that to happen i'm here to help you win i'm here to help you have a lot more fun so let's dive right into some of these uh, support upgrades. I already did a video on the tactical packages, so um, you know you'll want to watch both of these videos together to kind of get a feel for how they work together. But let me go into the support upgrades menu here. This is just hit the start button, go into your loadouts, and again your loadouts here. There's so much information. I can't cover everything in one video, so I'm just going to focus on support upgrades today. Other videos I have support uh, focus on the tactical packages, the armor abilities, weapons, and so forth. So let's get into the support upgrades. Um, I'll navigate down to this menu. Now support upgrades, if, if you don't know what they are at all, I'll just give you a brief overview. They're basically uh, a general overarching ability that uh, is available to your Spartan throughout the game. Okay, it's not you know an armor ability like a jetpack or a regen field. Let me go to that list real quick. Uh, the armor abilities you use at a specific point during the game, right? So, um, like Promethean Vision, for example, right? You, you, you know, you want to know where your opponents are, so you hit that Promethean Vision, it, it goes out there. That's a specific event in the game. Now, with support upgrades and tactical packages, they're not uh, used in like a specific circumstance most of the time. They're more just like an overarching ability, and that'll make more sense as I get into it here. But my point is you don't have to like activate them during the game. They're always just pretty much on, okay? Um, so ammo, I'm going to start with this because this is one of my favorites. I've been using this a lot because I've noticed that I've been running out of ammunition quite frequently. When I go on long sprees and long streaks, I end up running out of ammo. And, you know, there aren't as many weapons placed around the map as there used to be in other Halo games. And so you either have to... Uh, go out and find new weapons uh, off dead bodies or you have to get an ordnance drop and sometimes you just can't do those and then you run out of ammunition and there's nothing worse than running out of ammunition. So ammo uh, basically uh, you know, increases the amount of ammunition that you start with when you pick up a weapon. So when you spawn, your weapons have a lot more ammunition uh, to reload with. Okay, It still has the same capacity to shoot. But the reload ability is a lot uh, more enhanced. And this includes even like ordnance drops. So I've noticed that when I'm using this uh, and I get an ordnance drop with a sniper or a rocket, it's got extra ammunition. When you have those power weapons, uh, boy, those extra sniper rounds or those extra rockets will go a really long way. And uh, so I really like this ammo uh, support upgrade. I'm going to grade all of them. I'm going to give ammo an A minus, okay, because it's fantastic. It's useful just about all the time, and I really like it under almost any circumstance. It can be very beneficial. Uh, let me see what else I have here. Dexterity. This basically allows you to switch between your weapons much more quickly, and it also allows you to reload your weapons much more quickly. Uh, I'm going to give this one an A+. Plus. Okay, this is a really, really great weapon. It's useful under almost any circumstance, almost any game type. You're going to really enjoy this ability. If you haven't tried it out, make sure to do so. Uh, it's especially useful with the tactical package Firepower, which Firepower allows you to have two primary weapons instead of a primary and a secondary. But either way, whether you use that tactical uh, package or not, Dexterity is a fantastic ability. Saves you a lot of time, and it's really going to help you win a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations with your opponents. So that's a, that's a really great one. Uh, what else do I have here? Explosives. Okay, this makes uh, grenades much more powerful, the ones that you throw. And uh, it also reduces the amount of damage that you take from grenades. Okay. So this is an interesting upgrade, and I think in some situations it can be very good, especially if there's two tactical packages that deal with grenades. 
uh, Grenadier and Resupply. Let me go back to those really quickly so you can see them. Tactical packages, Grenadier and Resupply. So Grenadier basically allows you to carry an extra grenade and Resupply allows you to pick up grenades uh, that are lying around the map from people who have fallen. So if you have those extra grenades and uh, they are more powerful uh, via the uh, explosive support upgrade, then you know that's a pretty good combination if you're using those those uh, tactical packages and support upgrades combined. And they're especially good for some specific game types like Dominion, where you know that your opponents are kind of uh, you know kind of dug into a base, so they're fortified. You can get those grenades in there and get them out. Or King of the Hill to be sure, you know, all your opponents are going to be clustered in one area. You can throw those grenades in there. You'll have extra grenades. They'll be more powerful. So under those circumstances, it's a very good upgrade. Uh, on other games, it's going to be much more limited, not quite as beneficial. So I'm going to give this one a B because in some situations, it's fantastic. In other situations, it's not going to help very much. Uh, what else do we have here? Sensor. This is an interesting one. It increases your motion sensor's range by about 20 meters. Uh, this can be very, very useful. Uh, obviously, you want to be using it on a game type where there is a sensor, but uh, that, that is most game types. So it can be very, very useful, and you're going to be able to see your opponents before they can see you on the radar. So I'm going to give this one an A+, to be honest with you, because it's very versatile. It's uh, useful in almost any situation. Uh, you know, it really gives you a very clear advantage over your opponents, and, uh, you know, you really just can't go wrong. So I'm, I'm going to give this one an A+. Plus. I really like Sensor a lot. Uh, what else do I have down here? Awareness. Awareness basically allows you to use your motion sensor while you're scoped in. Uh, this is probably going to be most useful when you're sniping. Uh, you're not going to need it as much when you're using your DMR, your battle rifle, but when you're sniping, it's going to be very, very useful because a lot of times you like to stay scoped in trying to, to get that, that shot, line it up, and to have that motion sensor available, that's great. Now, if you're not going to snipe or there are no sniper, snipers on the map, okay, this is going to be a very, very limited ability. So I'm going to give it, you know, a C plus because if you're sniping, it's fantastic. Otherwise, it's very limited, not very useful. So I'm going to give it a C plus. Uh, but if you're sniping, you know, you might want to think about grabbing this one. Uh, let's see, this is Ordnance Priority. I'm going to give this one an A+, plus as well. This is a fantastic support upgrade. This basically adds a 40% bonus to the points that you earn towards Ordnance Drops, so you're going to earn a lot more Ordnance Drops during the game, okay? Typically, without this, you might get one, two, or maybe three Ordnance Drops in a game. Uh, with this, you're probably going to get at least three, maybe four, or even five Ordnance Drops during a game. That's going to make a huge difference. That's basically giving you and your teammates power weapons throughout the game. So not only you can can benefit from those ordnance drops, but your teammates, if you're communicating with them, you know you can drop ordinances for them as well to pick up. And so, man, this is really a terrific support upgrade, and I would strongly recommend it. Works well in just about any circumstance. Uh, I will mention that it would go well with the requisition tactical package, which allows you to... Uh, you know, have it uh, basically reset the choices for your ordnance drop. If you don't like the first three choices, you can reset it and get three new choices. But in general, I don't really like the requisition tactical package, uh, so I don't really recommend that one. But ordnance priority is a support upgrade. I think it's fantastic. Now, there's a few support upgrades that I have not unlocked yet, and so I can't show them to you, unfortunately but I can tell you about them and give them a grade. So one is Drop Recon, which is unlocked after completing the Engineer Special Ability. This basically allows you to see where Recon is going to drop five seconds before it actually drops. So you're going to have a lot better chance to beat your opponents to those, um, to those weapons. I'm going to give this one a C for now because it seems to me that a lot of times those uh, those weapons drop and they're not picked up for a really long time anyway. A lot of players are ignoring those weapons. So, you know, having that five second advantage may not be that big of a deal. And even if you see that, that weapon dropping, you may not be able to get to it anyway or you may not even want to get to it. So I'm going to give this one a C. That's Drop Recon. Uh... What else? Uh, Gunner. Okay, this is unlocked after completing the Pathfinder specialization. And uh, basically, it allows you to fire the machine guns and the plasma cannons without overheating. 
uh, this is great in big team battles if you're going to be using turrets a lot. Otherwise, no big deal. So I would say a, a C here as well. If you're heading into a big team game, by all means, if you anticipate shooting uh, turrets a lot, you may want to think about switching this on. Otherwise, uh, uh, not, not very useful in many situations. Uh, another one which I have not yet unlocked is Nemesis, which you unlock after completing the Stalker specialization. And uh, this basically uh, allows you to see where the person is who killed you after you respawn. So when you die, you respawn for about four and a half seconds. There's going to be a little marker above the, the opponent who killed you. So you can go track him down. Uh, I, I don't know about this one. I'm going to give this one a D. I just can't really imagine that this is actually going to help you with your gameplay. Uh, you know, maybe in some situations you just absolutely have to get revenge on this guy, but otherwise I think there's better ways to really, uh, boost your gameplay and really you can get your revenge more effectively by using some of the other support upgrades. Uh, another one I haven't unlocked yet is stability. This you unlock after completing the rogue specialization. Um, Stability uh, basically allows you to, you know, your aim doesn't get thrown off as much when you're being shot. So if you're scoped in or you're being shot, you're going to kind of jostle a little bit. This will reduce that jostling and increase your stability. I don't know about this one either. I think that it could be it could be helpful. I haven't played with it yet. Uh, jury's still out on this one. I'm guessing I'm going to give it something like a C plus because, again... I just don't know that that's really going to help all that much. I think it's okay, but there's better upgrades available. Uh, jury's still out. I guess we'll see. Finally, one last one that I have not yet unlocked is the Stealth Upgrade. And the Stealth up Upgrade basically allows you to move more quietly. It makes it difficult for people to see you with Promethean Vision. You can assassinate other people more quickly. I'm going to give this one a D. Okay, I don't like this one at all because... <laughs> I mean, some players do use headsets that allow them to hear you a little bit better if you when you walk, but not a lot of people use these headsets, and even when they do, that's only a slight advantage. And additionally, you know, you never know. A lot of times people aren't going to be using Promethean Vision. You only assassinate people very rarely. So I just think that this is very, very limited. It's very passive. I don't like it. Don't use it. Uh, you know, if you do use it, uh, use it at your own player peril. Don't say I didn't warn you. So again, uh, some really fantastic support upgrades, several of which work very well in combination with the tactical packages. What I do recommend is that you go in here and you have a variety of support uh, packages and tactical packages in your different loadouts so that during the game, as circumstances change, you can switch to a different tactical package or a different support upgrade during the game and really continue to uh, adapt to the circumstances. So it's very important that you have a good variety there. Um, if you guys have any questions about the tactical packages or the support upgrades, leave a comment. Uh, please let me know which ones are your favorites, which combinations you like to use together, where, what have you used that's been successful. Uh, I have a lot of gameplay commentaries with gameplay tips and tricks on my channel so make sure to check those out as well and I've got some other videos which will analyze the different weapons and armor abilities and give you some of the grades on those as well so make sure that you've subscribed so that you don't miss out on those videos I want to thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe add this to your favorites um, Halo 4 Tutor signing out I'll see you next time